Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. Folks, we're going to start off on book one of Paul F. Kent's duology. I don't think it's called anything, but book one is called Cross Current. Now, this one stars Jaden Kaur, who is Kyle Katarn's apprentice. I did not know this. <laughs> I didn't know he had an apprentice because I never played the video games. So I wasn't familiar with the character until someone later on, I think, told me while I was reading it. I said, yeah, this Jaden Kaur guy is not bad. I think they, they came up with a new Jedi and put him in a story. That's He's pretty interesting. I said, Matt, he's from some video game. I was like, Oh, didn't even know that when I was first reading it. But anyway, he has a force vision that leads him to the planet Faust. Uh, meanwhile, the One Sith, which again is connections to uh, the Legacy comic book series, uh, they seem to be a little bit more active than I, I would have liked, but they know that Jaden Corus had a vision. They know it's something that may impact them. It has to do with other Sith. And so they send an Anzati Sith, which is, is very cool, uh, called Carol, uh, oh, sorry, Kel Doro, I believe is their name, uh, to follow Jaden to Foss and see what he discovers. Now, prior to all this going down, there was a little prequel that ha takes place in the book a long time ago, back in the Tales of the Jedi days, or the Old Republic days, where these two Sith ships are in a battle, and there's Jedi that, and, and you know, get uh, board the ship, and they're trying to uh, take over the ship, and uh, something happens to both of these ships, and their hyperdrives get toyed with and messed with, and when they make the jump to hyperspace, something wild happens. Of course, they both shoot forward in the future. We've already heard about this story because in Lost Tribe of the Sith, the uh, ship that we're following is called the Omen. Well, the sister ship to that is called the Harbinger. And so in Cross Current, we're finding out what happened to the Harbinger here. Again, when it comes to time travel, I am completely against it. Thankfully, Star Wars did time travel to the future and not to the past. So there's no way to get back. But conceivably, if you can go forward in time, you can probably go backward in time, which I don't like. So I don't like this idea of any form of time travel, even though it's flash forwarding. Okay, just want to say that. So what does Jaden find out on this planet? Well, he finds some clones. First one he finds is a clone of Kamsa Salyer. Kamsa Salyer, there's a blast from the past, right? Haven't talked about him since uh, the uh, Dark Empire series. Now he's been around here and there in other books, but here's a clone of him. So Jaden has to fight him. Jaden loses three fingers in the battle, big whoop, but is able to uh, 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 kill the clone. At that time, the Anzadi Sis says, hey, this is the, you you know, he's, he's hungry for Jaden's soup. Of course, soup is his experience if he's lived a risky life, and he has. So the Anzadi is like, he's weak. Now's the time to attack. So the Anzadi Sith comes out to attack him. Of course, Jaden is really no match for him because he's so worn out. But his good friend Kedron will come in, save the day, and I believe he kills the Anzadi too. So Jaden is uh, saved by that. And of course, the Harbinger is destroyed. No more Harbinger. Uh, Jaden Kor, uh, Paul S. Kemp tries to kind of incorporate him into the Legacy of the Force series. We don't see him. As far as I remember, I don't think he's even mentioned in the Legacy of the Force series, but in this book, Jaden claims that he was part of that Jedi Strike Force that helped sabotage and blow up Centerpoint Station. Again, I don't, you know, I, I don't believe we ever heard him mentioned in that series, but he does say in Cross Current that he was part of that strike team. I remember thinking, really, was he? No, but there was a lot of nameless Jedi who he could have been one of them. Do I think this is Paul S. Kemp trying to shoehorn a character into the series? No, I think he's just trying to say, hey, Jaden Kaur has always been around. Even though this is the first time you're seeing him outside of the video game, he's always been around. You just haven't heard him mentioned before now. And that's fine. I actually like Jaden Kaur as a character. Now, what about in part two? Well, I'll talk about that in another video. See you then.